Hi, I'm Ari, and I got a hundred people at my work to stop sucking for a week, and it made me think about how I can get more people to stop sucking. This is a story about how I went to my state's capital, Sacramento, to try and help get Californians to stop using single-use plastic straws. But wait, why? Oh, man. 500 million plastic straws are used in the U.S. every day. Many of those straws end up in the ocean and can harm sea life. Reports predict that by 2050, there will be more plastic in the ocean than fish. My journey starts with Sheila Moravati. She's a mom in LA who is instrumental in getting the city of Malibu to ban straws. We found this many straws just walking for five minutes at the beach. So I went to the city and I asked if they would implement the ban, and not only did they vote on it unanimously, banning all plastic straws, but also plastic cutlery and stirrers. That's amazing. It's awesome. After talking to Sheila, I was so inspired and I wanted to see how I could get involved to address the problem of single-use plastic straws. So I decided to do some research. I discovered that Ian Calderon, the California State Assembly leader, had created a bill called Straws Upon Request. I called his office to ask if he would tell me more about it, and he agreed to meet with me. It's a really easy, simple bill. It just says, if you go into a full-service dine-in restaurant, if you want a straw, you can have it. You just have to request it. So it's straws upon request. We're not banning it, but we are raising awareness. And I think it's gonna cut down on the prevalence of straws. How do you think people can get involved? The best type of advocacy is always to reach out to your elected officials. So you have assembly member Laura Friedman, who okay. was amazing. Okay, great. Uh, and your state senator is Kevin DeLeon. It depends on what you're willing to do. So you can go into your assembly member's office. Mm -hmm. You can even write your assembly member a letter or you can call in. Okay. That's what you can do locally. Yeah. The next thing is you got to fly to Sacramento. Oh. I want to try to come to Sacramento and do a public comment when this goes before... I'd love to have you there. It's really cool. And then you feel like that makes a difference when people show up? Oh, 100%. About to get on the plane to Sacramento. Welcome work. I just arrived. I feel like I'm on Parks and Rec. So I'm a little nervous. Can you give me any advice? Go out there, be positive, and make your case known. Thank you so much, Sheila. We're going to be presenting the bill at the Natural Resources Committee, and if it passes, it'll move along to the California Senate. She's going to be a witness, and I'm going to testify. Are you nervous? I mean, not really, because it's something that needs to be done, so it's just, just got to do it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, welcome, everyone. To start us off is Mr. Calderon. And the reason why I'm doing this bill is because we have an issue with single-use plastics. I learned about the problem that plastic pollution poses to our ocean as a volunteer teen conservation leader at the Monterey Bay Aquarium and decided to take action for my Girl Scout Gold Award project. I founded Junior Ocean Guardians, an organization dedicated to educating people about the problem of plastic pollution. I urge each and every one of you to vote in favor of this common sense legislation. Any further witnesses in support of this bill? Please come forward. Hi, my name is Ari Jackson, and I'm here in to testify in support of this bill and also to show that there is strong public support for it. I'm a video producer at BuzzFeed, and I made a video about why straws are harmful to our environment. This video was viewed on Facebook 20 million times and it got 194,000 shares. The top audience for this video was Californians ages 25 to 34. The public is very excited about this bill and I urge you to protect the health of our oceans and our in California. Thank you. Thank you very much. So how do you think it went? It went as expected and you know, yeah. I'm feeling confident about the overall solution to the bill. I was nervous, but I think it went well. No, you did a really good job. And okay, so, I stumbled it, a little bit. I was like, up there. I was like, no, oh, no. It's totally normal. I mean, because it's funny, like, right when you get up there, you know exactly what you're going to say when you're, when you're going, right? Yeah. And then you get there, and it's just like, And, like, blank. in the middle. Yeah, I got a little something. <laughs> but you guys all did great. Yay. Thank yeah, you. Of course. <laughs> the Straws Upon Request bill passed through the assembly floor, and it is currently waiting to be approved on the California Senate floor. If you want to see it passed and reach Governor Brown's desk, call your representatives to tell them you support it. Curbing single-use straw use is a great start, but they are just one facet of our single-use plastic problem. I believe one person can make a difference, and if you do too, please sign our pledge below to not use plastic straws anymore. You know, I still get t tweets all the time talking about how I suck because I'm going to put people in jail, um, even though it's not even in the bill. The penalties were not what I put in the bill. They were prescribed in my bill due to the code section. Yeah. But it's okay, because it's part of the legislative process. I know that and I know ultimately what the end result is and it's all worth it.